What's up, guys? Jarrell here from J-Pal Music. You can like to subscribe on the channel. Be sure to do that. I definitely would appreciate that. Got a new guitar in the building. This is a Stag SES 60. Uh, this was on sale last week. Uh, it might be if there's any left. They were usually the $300. Uh, I was on sale for 50% off, so $149. Pretty crazy. So when I had to jump on it, especially with uh, the, the features that it said that it had, as far as like a caramelized uh, maple neck, um, uh, block inlays for the fretboard, SSH style. Looks pretty good. I've had a few people, that I've seen some videos on YouTube, uh, people playing it. Haven't seen an official unboxing. So this might be the first one. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I got the Sunburst with the black pickguard. I think a black pickguard with a Sunburst guitar just seems really sweet. I used to have one very briefly before I returned it back in the day. I haven't had one since. I've got the Sunburst one here, but this is a, with a white pickguard, black uh, pickups. Uh, just installed that last night. Let's see how this is. This is literally me unboxing it for the first time. Seems like the box it came with, it looks like it's like a box built from another box. <laughs> I could be wrong. But let's see. I'm gonna mute this just so you don't hear much of rummaging. Give me a second here. So, good news, it is double boxed. For those of you who are curious, I know a lot of people order guitars online. They kind of get kind of weary if they're not double boxed, kind of like the IYV guitars, not double boxed. A lot of these cheap guitars, not double boxed. This is double boxed. So, even though it's kind of a thin cardboard, it is double boxed, so it is going to help as far as the stability in general. So, hopefully, this one doesn't have any dings on it. Uh, but let me mute this so I can pull the guitar out, and I'll show you guys. Okay, down to the wire, almost got it open. Here's the, this is the guitar box. So once I open this, the guitar is in fact inside it. Uh, I've never owned a Stag instrument. Heard of them, I know they make a lot of cheap guitars. Never owned one though. So this should be very exciting. I'm gonna move this one more time so you don't have to worry about the, the rummaging sounds. All right, the tape is cut. Just have to open this guy. So let me go ahead and do that. See what we got here. My apologies on the sounds and opening this guy. Forgot one, one piece of tape. Okay. All right, so once we open it, I am seeing what the guitar looks like. 
It does have a cloth over it, but I do see the guitar. So let me show you guys. Looks cool. It's taped very well, so I'll give that. And if anyone's curious, got the whammy bar, trim bar, got some Allen wrenches for like the, for the neck, truss rod adjustment, and you got the saddle, Allen, the little Allen wrench for the, uh, for the saddles. So in case anyone's wondering. Okay, so this is what it came in. I have this cloth. I'm gonna take the guitar out. Doesn't feel all bad. Doesn't feel that bad. Or that heavy, I mean. Let's see. I want to mute this so you don't have to hear this. All right, so let's pull the sucker down. Okay, so off the bat, what you got here. Interesting uh, logo for the stag. This is the back. We got the traditional. Okay. Already, block inlay action. It's really cool, I actually like that addition. I know um, Kenny Wade Shepard has a block. Ooh, I like that sound, I like that feel. Kenny Wade Shepard has a fender with block inlays, but it's like $2,500, so I said, I'll wait, Kenny Wade Shepard. <laughs> I'll wait on buying that guitar. All right. So this is what we got here. All right. Sunburst. Stagnation, huh? This is the back. Little half sculpted heel there, appreciate that. For the neck, the neck's pretty good. It's kind of a middle feeling size as far as the neck size. So it's not thick, it's not super thick or anything but it's not terribly thin. It's very in the middle. It's very similar to an Ibanez AZE-31. So the uh, Tommy Fujita student guitars, the Ibanez guitars. Um, so it's very similar to those as far as for the, uh, as far as for the style. Let's see how the frets are. Frets aren't bad, they're pretty good. They're maybe slightly sharp up coming up to 12th fret, but there's nothing that's like catching when I do this. So the, the fret job is actually pretty good. Neck seems to be pretty straight overall. A lot of times around like the end of the frets, this kind of divvies down. For some reason snaps down for a lot of guitars. So I don't see it with this, so that's good. Next, pretty comfortable. Definitely gonna switch out the strings. That's just a given. This is a two point trim. I actually have a Fender license trim that's coming in, which I'm very excited about. And I have a Fender, some Fender wiring. Some Fender wiring that already came in, so I'm gonna swap the wiring out for the Fender wiring. And I'm also excited for that. That's gonna be a mission, because I have to rewire everything, but it's gonna be with much more reliable wiring, less clicky, you know? I mean, yeah. So that'll be nice. And then, yeah, I have a Fender, or no, it's not Fender, it's a GFS. They have a steel uh, trim uh, block, supposed to fit fenders, uh, and I'm gonna replace with that. For those of you who are curious as far as like how thick the trim block is, it's very thin, 
very traditional to the Squire. So that's more of the same. But uh, after I swap out that trim block with the two point, that one's supposed to be a good size thick uh, trim block. So excited for that. Little dent right here. Nothing too crazy though. Nothing to write home about or write to them about. And obviously the jacks right here. So, so not bad. 149. That's not bad. And I'm I'm doing a, I'm going to be doing a lot to customize this. So before I talk about that, tuners don't rely on them. Especially for a lot of these cheap guitars, just don't, just don't do it. Don't do it. Save yourself the time. Uh, I'm going to replace these out. Let's see, ah, got a little scratch right here too. Can't beat them all. If it was a Silver Sky, I'd have an issue. I would return the guitar, but not for a stag. <laughs> it's kind of silly to be that particular, especially this was on sale. A little scuff here too, on top of the, that might just be adhesive though. Yeah, it's adhesive. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm not super picky. You have to balance, you have to balance these things. You're getting a hundred dollar guitar, you're not gonna get thousand dollar quality assurance testing on it. Um, I'm pretty happy with this for 149. This is a lot, it's a lot of guitar for 149. Um, obviously, I haven't played it yet, but I'm gonna be doing some mods to it. So, let me talk about the mods and in a separate video. I'll do a video of me playing it. Um, I'm gonna put hip shot tuners on this, I already have them, so that'll actually uh. I take the strings off. My next mod will be hip shot tuners. Uh, like I said, the Fender, the Fender style steel truss uh, two point that will go in, um, and then the wiring will go in. The wiring is from a Fender Twenty Twenty Players Edition. So there's like the Player Plus, and there's like the Player Series. So it's the regular Player Series, the Mex made in Mexico. Um, that's gonna go in, okay? Uh, after that goes in, the last one is that I've always wanted a guitar, like what if I had a Strat style guitar with a Tele style, a Telecaster pickup? Because I like Telecasters, but I also like the Fender style too. So I said, well, what if I had both? So I'm going to put a Telecaster pickup in here. It's gonna be awesome. Really excited for that. Um, so I ordered two. It was supposed to be for two different projects. One of the guitars, or one of the pickups is from uh, the Earl Slick, the Fullerton. Um, the Fullerton Telecaster pickup. Um, it sounded pretty good on the, the video. So I was going to put, and I have the, tele, the tele ring too, so it'll fit. Uh, so I'm going to put that in here. Uh, the other set that I got is from an ERT. It's from an ERT NCK31 or something like that. Um... The guy wanted he, he wanted to have a <laughs> noiseless, so he gave me a set a tele set for thirty bucks from the Ert, which is kind of cool. I think I thought it was a pretty decent deal. Um, I already have a Glary tele uh, that's beat to shit. The 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 body's beat to shit. Let's put it through L, but um, so I very may well just uh, originally put the Ert stuff on that on the Glary. See how that looks and plays, if it plays decent or not. But uh, the, the Earl Slick, I'll probably just keep it to put on here. Let's keep the plan the same. Don't want to make anything too complicated. So yeah, so after that, this will sound pretty crazy. Um, let me see if I can play this really quick for you. It's just so you know what the sound is, and then I know what the sound is. Uh, I have to tune it, though. That's the problem. Let me see if I can tune it really quick for you guys. So it looks like it was just two down a half at that point. It was shipped over. I don't know if that's enough <laughs> as far as uh, 
when it comes to uh, the, the stability. But so a little notice here. The trim block's lifting a bit. And it's just on standard tuning. So I probably just have to screw in. The neck seems straight. I probably just have to screw in the, the, the claws in a bit on the back. But just as a point of reference for you guys. So let me uh play this a bit. Just gonna take a strap off of my Jackson JS22 and throw it on here. Let me set this down so I don't destroy it. Just so we can get a point of how it sounds before I switch over. So Mia. Yeah. Sorry about the long video, but just wanted to be super thorough for you guys. The tape is connected to my foot. <laughs> Obviously 60 cycle hums, so be worried of that. I'm plugging this into a Roland JC40. Great amp, especially great amp for pedals. So uh, input jack went in just fine. No issues there, so it didn't fall out or don't have to, you know, the, 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 the jack wasn't bent or anything. Or it seems that way at least. All right, good enough. Good enough for, the, for, for a test. All right, let me throw this baby on. You can hear it. All right. Interesting pickup for the neck. It's got some. Uh, it's got some uh, character to it. It's a, the the ceramic pickups obviously so it's a lot brighter than you know what we're accustomed to as far as buying cheap guitars a little quieter. They have a nice spank to them. Uh, this is a fifth position, so uh, neck to middle. So you have that noise canceling if you obviously hold the strings. Here's the middle. Middle to humbuck.
Not bad. Neck feels really good. All right. So there's your test there. And uh, yeah, man. So interesting stuff. Uh, I'm excited for once I mod this where it's a little, little proof, you know, homie proof there. Or just, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, where all the mods are in. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm speaking different languages here. Uh, so, yeah. So, like I said, hip shot tuners, telly on the neck. I actually like this neck pickup. It's pretty nice. I might put it on my other guitar. I might take it out and put it on my... Uh, my uh, I have a Mitchell MD200, which I've showed on the channel. Uh, a Mexican neck. Uh, Tex-Mex uh, pickups in there, but I kind of like this. I kind of like this spank on here. So, I might throw it on that instead. Need copper wiring. But... Anyway, I'm going to end the video. It's way too long, but thanks for watching and listening and all that stuff. And uh, I'll, I'll follow the video for my mods. So, thanks a lot.